Hey gang, Space Time Badass here. I'm very excited to be bringing you this video about Kaylee as a Catechichi. Now, it's been a while since I've done a video on a dream herb review. The last one I did was on African dream root or Silene capensis, and I'll probably put a link for that somewhere for you on this here screen. This is going to be a journey, and I just cannot wait to get started on it. I've heard a lot of good things about Kaylee as a Catechichi. I've heard that it does have sort of psychedelic effects, which I will be especially interested in uh, being who I am, very into psychedelics in the mind, so I'm gonna crack this open. Here she is, um, yep, and I did get a half an ounce or 14 grams. I think I only got it for like, with free shipping, I got it was about like six something, and it was under seven dollars. Yeah, we got the leaves in there, there's some stems as well, and I think I saw, yeah, a little bit of the flowers from the plant there. Now I think it's also called Calia tinflora if I'm pronouncing that right as well. But both names are pretty weird to pronounce. Let's get some of this stuff out, shall we? Stems, leaves. Oh wait, here we go. Little flowers on that stem there. Now a couple of aromas are coming in. Hints of oregano and chamomile and just kind of the average leaf smell that any leaf would smell like dried out if you crushed it in your hand. Um, I've heard that the, the tea made with this is very bitter and smoking it as well I've heard is a very bitter taste but it doesn't really have a very bitter smell or any smell that's kind of out of, out of the ordinary or any way, any way suspicious. Actually to me it kind of smells like a tea. Actually kind of like chamomile to me is what it smells like. So I would just say overall it has a, a tea smell but that might just be because I, I drink a lot of chamomile so I already associate that smell. But I guess you can't you can't always judge taste by smell I suppose once you get actu the actual chemicals active in it like making a tea or applying that heat necessary to get the chemicals out of it. I mean with combustion or any sort of heat that that does change things a bit as far as taste would go. There it is. There's a plenty there to do some testing with. So come with me on this journey of Kalia Z. So there's really only one way to find out. Please just taste like tobacco. Actually not bad. First hit at least. It's interesting. Definitely interesting. It kind of amplifies a little bit more that oregano smell that I had to it, so that's kind of like, kind of tastes a little bit like oregano. Or some other Italian herb that is mixed with tobacco. Obviously, you know, that could help it a bit, I don't know. It's really not as bad as I thought it would be. If you smoke tobacco, then you could smoke this, I would say. Tobacco on its own, I think, is much harder to get down than this would be on its own. I was all amped up for nothing. Right now I'm feeling normal. They say that these are supposed to have some sort of psychedelic effects or relaxing effects. Well, Kalia is rather, but then again, like nicotine is a stimulant, so mixing with tobacco, who knows? Don't lick your lips, though. That's that's the lesson we're learning right now. Don't lick your lips. It has a kind of a pleasant aroma. I could use this as, like, incense or something. It smells way better than patchouli. Pe pe oh, that one stuck a bit. But if the tea is as bad as they say it is, then I would just probably continue to smoke it. But I guess we gotta find out for curiosity's sake, right? And see what works better. That's what it's all about.
So what have we learned about Kaylee as a Catechichi so far? Right now, I am really pleased with my experience with Kaylee as a Catechichi, but before I get into my experiences, I would like to note a couple of things on smoking it. The first thing is that it does get very bitter on its own, so in my opinion, the best way to go is to mix it with a little bit of tobacco because that will kind of take away some of that bitterness. If you're rolling it, then I would say don't lick your lips afterward because <laughs> uh, that's very bitter. Um, I've been using this pipe the past uh, two, or, two or so nights and I've been using it for about five nights straight every single night right before I put my head down on the pillow. That seems to me the best time to do it. Now I did read up again about the psychoactive effects that it's supposed to have and I did read that they are very mild and you have to smoke upwards of six grams in one sitting to get any of those effects. So I don't have enough herb to do that because I still need to make the tea and I have to do that for several nights and that's going to consume more than smoking it would. So maybe that's something that you would like to try. Another thing is that it also gets very, um, very hot at times. So it's better to take some into your mouth and then inhale it from that rather than directly from the source. As far as effects on my dreams, I have noticed each night that I've been remembering more of each individual dream. So like it longer, it seems, it doesn't prolong dreams, but it, it rather makes you remember more of those dreams. And I've also remembered more dreams each night than I ordinarily do. And this is coming from a seasoned lucid dreamer. So this stuff's good guys. I really like it. I gonna try the tea now and see how that fares up against smoking it. I'm assuming that that will probably be better, so I'm really excited to see where it goes from here, guys. All right, guys, uh, we've smoked Kalia Z and learned a lot. Now it's time for tea. Um, hopefully the washer and or dryer, I don't know which one it is. It's going right now, I can't remember. But hopefully that's not too distracting for you. If so, very sorry. So now I've made up some Kalia Zakata Chi Chi tea. Zalia <laughs> Kalia Zakata Chi Chi tea. Um, and so what I've done is I've taken about three grams of it. I've simmered it in water on a pot in the stove for 20 minutes. I filtered it through a coffee filter into this mug. I've added some honey and some milk to hopefully make it not taste bad. Um, it's, it ends up looking like this really kind of weird brown water, but once you like pour it and once you see like a little bit of, once it gets a little bit thin on a surface, you can see that it's actually very green. And what it looks like now in my cup is just like a, a cup of coffee with a kind of a green tinge to it. It actually looks really neat. Now it has this weird smell to it that is it kind of reminds me of gravy. It's a strong gravy smell, so it's a very hearty smell to it. And it's moments like these where I wonder what the hell I've gotten myself into. So I guess there's only one thing to do, and that's try it. And if it tastes really bad, we'll try to get it down really quick. Pardon me if I get it in my mustache. Oh my, that is a very bitter gravy. It's overpowering. And I think I need to go get a lot more sugar or something because I can taste none of the milk, none of the honey. My God, that's bad. That is terrible. That is just, I have to, I have to go get some, something to sweeten this with. Alright, we got, we got the good stuff. We got pure cane sugar. I can't get that fucking taste out of my mouth, man. Oh, oh. Three scoops. But it's gonna be, it's not warm enough since I added the milk to like melt the sugar. No, there it goes. Just taking it a minute. Guys, this tea is as bad as you have heard and worse. Cannot be described how bad this tea is. I'm just 
gonna right now I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say just smoke it. Whatever bitterness it has while you're smoking it, even smoking it on its own, as bitter as that can get, nowhere near as bitter as this tea. Oh god, why do I do this? I'm going to punish myself with one more sip, and if it's just no change, if it's really that bad, I'm going to have to try to chug it, and if it maintains being that bad, I will probably vomit, but it's all for you guys, for, for knowledge. I don't want to do this. Why am I doing this? I, I don't want to do it. Okay. Okay. Go with sugar. No, honey, just go with sugar. It doesn't do anything but make it a little less bitter. But God, ooh, it is still very bad. All right, guys. You need to give me a thumbs up and maybe a subscription because this shit is off the charts fucking grotesque. It's like drinking ball sweat. And I'm doing this so you can learn. Listen, you're getting something from this. You're learning, okay? What am I getting out of this? Fucking sick. I'm gonna have a tummy ache. So like and subscribe, because, you know, you sympathize, right? I'm doing this for you. So bad. <coughs> oh my god, my eyes are... <coughs> There's no way. Oh my god, it's so bad. It is the absolute fucking worst. Holy crap. <coughs> I know, I need a chaser. Chaser. Oh, God. All right. Ah, the nectar of life. Sweet taste of life. If you do this, you need to use the most minimum amount of water ever. And you need to just, like, if you could get it down to a shot, then that would probably be best. I thought one cup of tea, I could handle it, and I thought fucking dead wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Third the way done. You guys, you have to understand that this is just absolutely awful. I'm going to try to finish it this time, this one time, and I will not be trying this tea again. It is that bad. So, if it's good or not, we'll know in, in one go. I know for the smoking method I did it for several days, and I plan on doing the tea method for several days. But this is this is ridiculous and must be stopped. I, I can't stress to you enough what a, a masochist you must be if you drink this more than one time. <clears throat> I've gotten half the cup down, and I'm very hot. I feel very hot, and the taste is very, very bad. And I can feel it in my stomach, like, upsetting everything that is inside of me. So on this, 
I'm going to have to say that half a cup is enough. I absolutely cannot do it. I tried, and I failed, and I'm sorry. If I get any effects from this, I will let you know. I know that it probably doesn't work this way, but if I will assume that I, since I put three grams into it, drank half of it, so we'll assume that's one and a half grams down my tum-tums and probably out of my ass in a few minutes. But I, I was just afraid that if I drank any more that I would vomit, and if I vomit then this is all for nothing, you know? So at least I have something in my stomach. I'm gonna go to bed now and I'm gonna see if this does anything at all or if I'm torturing myself for nothing. Okay guys, so I actually did end up trying the tea again because I laid down to go to sleep and then <laughs> my girlfriend decided that it was time to clean at 3 in the morning and so I didn't get any sleep that night. <laughs> so I had to try it again, so everything that you saw, the suffrage was for nothing. But I did try it again um, a couple of times actually and I did find a couple of things so I want to talk about that. So first of all, the bitterness can be taken down a notch and become tolerable. It's still very bitter and fills your mouth and is still not a good thing. But um, I've noticed if you use sugar, like actual sugar, I've been using uh, raw cane sugar. If you use like actual sugar, it is better to take the bitterness away than honey is in the tea. Um, milk seemed to make it worse. Also, putting a tea in with it, like I used peppermint tea, and that helped a great deal in, in making it palpable for me. So if you're doing the tea, use real sugar. Don't put milk in it. Put a tea bag in it of something that's not caffeinated so you can go to sleep. Otherwise, I would say the effects of the tea are not any better than smoking it. In fact, for me personally, I thought smoking it gave me better dream recall than just doing the tea. Something I want to mention, if you're doing the tea, I have noticed that when you drink this tea, get up in the morning and use the restroom, um, your urine will be discolored a bit, um, very vibrant. Like, say if you drink an energy drink, that it, the, it's the B vitamins in your energy drinks that would make the urine be like very vibrant, bright yellow, and it's like, holy crap, it's like fluorescent. Kelly is a Katachichi tea did that for me, so my guess is that Probably the reason that it helps a little bit is because of B vitamins. And I used to take B vitamin, vitamins, <laughs> used to take B vitamins before I went to bed each night and then when I got up in the morning to help with lucid dreaming, so that makes sense. In any case, no matter which way you do it, it is a very bitter plant and you will need to do something to get the bitterness down just a bit, whether that be putting tobacco in it when you smoke it or putting peppermint tea in it when you drink it. Something else I want to mention that is across the board no matter what way you're using Kalia Zucchetta Chi Chi, no matter what, it seems like you will get a little bit restless in the night and I think this might also have to do if, if there are B vitamins in it or some sort of stimulant in it, then that would make sense. So I, I've woke up every time I've used it in the middle of the night and kind of like felt like I have some restless legs going on. Like like I needed to get up and move kind of feeling, but I stayed in bed. Um, just kind of like you can't keep your legs still. I mean, you can, but you want to move them. And it's just, it makes sleeping a little more difficult at that point for me personally. And this is after doing it, either smoking it or drinking it, and then going directly to bed. I would always wake up at some point in the night and kind of toss and turn a bit. So it might not be the best for quality of sleep, but that being said, it was nothing that was really major that I couldn't just kind of ignore and then go back to sleep eventually. Overall, I would say that Kalia Zakata Chi Chi is a really good herb if you're just starting out with lucid dreaming or if you have poor dream recall. That's where I noticed the best potential for lucid dreaming with this specific herb is helping the dream recall. I remembered many more dreams than I ordinarily do each night, and I usually have a pretty good memory of that as well. So I'm hesitant to say that there's any herb that'll just make you lucid dream out of the blue without doing any of the practices with it, just like my review of African Dream Root. However, they, this plant does aid with lucid dreaming, if for no other reason, then you'll remember more of your dreams and 
you, it is possible to actually forget that you've had a lucid dream. I know it sounds crazy, but <laughs> you can forget a lucid dream. Um, I've had days where I, I just got up and didn't really remember any lucid dreams, went about my business halfway through the day, I'm thinking about it, and then I noticed back, yeah, I was lucid last night. So that can happen, so that may be happening to you, so maybe Kelly is a cat of cheat sheet can help you with your dream recall in that way. You might uncover that you've had lucid dreams, or you might have more potential to have, you know, to remember your dreams and thereby benefit lucid dreaming. So that just about does it for this review, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was informative and gave you some of the information that you're really looking for for Kalia Zakata Chichi. It was another one of those herbs that's just kind of not a whole lot out there about it. So I like testing these things and just kind of getting to business and seeing what works and what doesn't and how it works. So I think really, Kalia Zakata Chichi, I'm going to call you the Dream Recall herb. But if you did enjoy this review, don't forget to check out my African Dream Root review, everything you need to know about African Dream Root or Silent Capensis. I should put a link on the screen for that as well. In a couple of weeks, I will actually be doing a review for the Dream Leaf supplement. And if you're unaware of what that is, go to luciddreamleaf.com. They actually got a hold of me via Twitter and asked if I would be interested in doing a review for them. And I said, absolutely. So they're sending me over a couple of products to try out for you guys. Mainly, I'm excited about the Red and the Blue pills for lucid dreaming, so I'm gonna be doing a review of that, which I think will be of a greater quality than this one was. I know I spread it out over weeks, and it was constantly in different locations from where I had to film, but now I have like a dedicated space in which to film, so the next review should be good. So look out for that one in a few weeks. It's still gotta get here. I think I got another week or two before it gets here, and then actually testing it out, I'm gonna say another couple weeks, so it's probably four weeks out, but do check that out. I'll put a link for it here as well when that gets done. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Space Time Badass, pretty much all social media. If you want to find me, it's at Space Time Badass. If you're interested in this whole lucid dreaming thing, you might want to actually check out Team Lucid Dreams YouTube channel, and there's a link for that on my channel. Um, and you can also go to teamlucidream.com. And that's the channel that I'm actually involved in with a lot of other wonderful lucid dreamers. And we're releasing six videos a week starting on the 19th of September. And on that channel, I will be the presenter for the third video that we put out. So the first Wednesday, I will be the presenter for that video. So definitely check that out and support me and all these other wonderful lucid dreamers that I'm in it with. I've just got to say I've had a, a blast working with everyone and, and getting to know everyone. It's we're, it's just a great team of really good people who all just want to help others lucid dreams. So definitely check that out. And otherwise, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. Do all those wonderful things. And until next time, take it easy. Hey gang, Space Time Badass here. Today we're going to be talking about your first lucid dream and how you can get everything that you want out of it. So I assume you've been doing your reality checks and keeping your dream journal and are now about to go